This video is brought to you by Straight Goods News, Canada's alternative online news source. Visit straightgoods.ca. Well, it's, uh, I don't know why uh, the Prime Minister uh, needs, to, needs to attack what's happening in Europe. I think what he should be focused on is what's happening here in Canada. We asked him today in the House if he has a plan. Uh, because of the global uncertainty, we could be faced with another economic downturn. If you recall, in 2008, this government denied that there was any economic fragility, denied we were in the downturn, and then it was on the brink of losing power. The government was forced to bring in a stimulus package. We don't want to have that kind of denial and then ad hoc response. We would like to know what the government's plan is. The Prime Minister should be focused on the Canadian economy and let the Europeans sort out their own economy. Well, should Canada support Europe through the IMF? Uh, the Europeans should make their own decision about how they're going to handle their economic challenges. We're part of the IMF, but it's, it's up to the Europeans to sort out their economic issues. We'd like the Prime Minister to focus on our economy, and what we don't have is a plan going forward. The Prime Minister, through Bill C-38, has laid out massive cuts to public services and, and to programs that Canadians need and want, and we'd like to see him focus uh, more on Canadian prosperity and less on austerity here. Just uh, quickly, these, uh, these are the 506 amendments to Bill C-38 that uh, we have tabled. Uh, which will be debated in the, in the House shortly. Uh, we had over 50 amendments that we had brought to the Finance Committee uh, for Bill C-38, of which all were rejected. And so we're going to try one more time to uh, try to change some of the very uh, most damaging parts of Bill C-38, uh, which we believe it's in the interests of Canadians to, to, to do. We have argued from the beginning that this bill should be split, it should be separated, sent to the relevant committees, debated by the, the respective parliamentarians based on uh, information and testimony from relevant witnesses, but so far that argument has fallen on deaf ears.